Authorities identify a local man found dead in the Blue River. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. Breaking news now from Breckenridge, where Summit County Coroner this morning identified a body recovered from the Blue River yesterday as John Scott Still, a 53-year-old Breck resident who went missing last week. Cause of death is pending an autopsy. The coroner does not suspect foul play. Still disappeared last Wednesday from the Peak 7 neighborhood. Authorities found his body in the river around 2 p.m. yesterday near Coin Valley Road. He was last seen alive five days earlier when an Uber driver dropped him off downtown. A man died tubing on Clear Creek this past Sunday, becoming at least the 18th water death or disappearance this summer in Colorado. The Denver Post reports the man in his 20s was tossed from his tube Sunday afternoon west of Golden. He was found before sundown and could not be resuscitated. No word on if he was wearing a PFD. Authorities in Golden say there have been three to four rescues per day since Clear Creek reopened for recreation in early July. Vail Resorts is about to make the owners of OxyContin $87 million richer. Yesterday, we reported on Vail's pending purchase of Peak Resorts, a company with 17 ski areas out east. Today, Forbes reports the Sackler family, owner of prescription pill manufacturer Purdue Pharma, holds a 40% stake in Peak Resorts. The Peak sale is worth $264 million total if approved by a majority of stockholders. The Sacklers have owned stock there since 2015. Vice President Mike Pence flew into Aspen this week just long enough to raise some cash. The Aspen Times reports the vice president arrived yesterday afternoon drawing small groups of supporters and protesters before a VIP fundraiser priced at $35,000 per plate. Filings show the vice president's campaign gets $2,700 per plate. The rest goes to the Republican National Committee. By now, Pence is back in the air less than 24 hours after he came here. Traffic through the Eisenhower Tunnel hit 152,600 vehicles this past weekend, Friday through Sunday, about 500 cars fewer than last weekend for the fourth busiest weekend of summer. Daily average was close to 51,000 vehicles, despite a semi-truck fire outside Georgetown that snarled eastbound traffic for nine hours Saturday. Meanwhile, at DIA, last Friday was the busiest in airport history, with 227,000 passengers in 24 hours. The Colorado Sun reports DIA has set new single-day records every year since it opened in 1990. Officials expect the 2018 record to fall 80 times this summer alone. Today in roadwork news, CDOT is back on I-70 at Dow Junction and Vail today for rockfall mitigation. Expect single lane closures in both directions through the afternoon. County road projects happening this week include the final phase of the Summit Cove Loop project and repaving on westbound lanes of Swan Mountain Road. Paving on Boreas Pass Road begins in early August. In sports, the Rockies open a series with the Nationals in D.C. today at 5.05. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon. The Summit Trail Running Series continues tomorrow, Wednesday, on 6K and 14K courses at Horseshoe Gulch. Get signed up through BreckenridgeRecreation.com. Also tomorrow is race 5 of the Vail Summer Mountain Bike Series for an adult-only event at Lost Lake. Sign up through Vail Rec. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.